Hello and welcome to Neurology Made Easy. I hope all of you are doing good. Today the topic of discussion is accommodation reflex. It is a very important topic and I have tried to make it very simple. So for accommodation reflex we need three things to happen. Like when we are looking at a far object and now we are trying to focus on a nearby object then three things should happen so that we can focus on that thing. So what are these three things or three actions? First of all, there should be pupillary constriction so that we can see the image clearly. We should have a sharp uh, vision of the image. Number second is there should be convergence of axis like when you are looking at the far object now you need to converge to see a uh, object near to your eyes. Number three is that the convexity of the lens should increase. That is there should be uh, increased convexity and refract refractive pathway. It's something related to the refraction. Okay. So when these things will happen, you can accommodate on a, or you can accommodate on, you can focus on the uh, object that is near to your eyes. So how this all happens? I have tried to uh, describe it uh, in a diagrammatic way. So um, in this diagram, I will show actually three pathways, visual pathway, uh, pupillary light reflex and this accommodation reflex and I will tell you that how these are related to each other and um, how they are different. So it all starts from the eyes. Uh, here I am going to draw eyes. So from the eyes so suppose this is right and this is left eye and we uh, have these optic nerves. The optic nerves cross uh, nasal fibers from the optic nerves cross each other while the temporal fibers do not cross and this crossing takes place at optic chiasma from the optic chiasma later on we have optic tract and uh, that goes to the lateral geniculate body from the lateral geniculate body we have optic radiations and they go and reach the occipital cortex so this is the optic nerve this is the optic chiasma this is the lateral geniculate body and this is the occipital cortex so this is basically the visual pathway Some of the fibers from the this pathway they do not go to the lateral geniculate body but they go into the superior brachium then to the pretectal area from there they go to the posterior commissure and eventually they go to the Edinger Westphal nucleus. So I will tell you later on about this that uh, why I have written all of this. So Coming back to the occipital cortex, from the occipital cortex, the fibers grow in, go into the prefrontal cortex, that is in our frontal lobe. Then from prefrontal cortex, the fiber go into the Erringer westphal nucleus and to the third nerve nucleus. Both of these nuclei are in the midbrain. Fibers from these nuclei join to form the third nerve, that is the oculomotor nerve. Now, the oculomotor nerve 
the fibers from ocular the motor nerve go into the ciliary ganglion and from there uh, post ganglionic short ciliary nerves arises there are actually many short ciliary nerves but here i will enlarge only one of these so this is the uh, ciliary ganglion and the short ciliary nerves will arise from the this ganglion so these nerves later on supply the ciliaris muscle and the constrictor pupillae muscle You also know that third nerve also supplies the extraocular muscles. Uh, so uh, I will also show that third nerve also supplies the medial rectus. Actually, third nerve supplies the uh, other muscles also. Only this lateral rectus is supplied by the sixth nerve, and superior oblique is supplied by the fourth nerve. The other extraocular muscles are supplied by third nerve oculomotor nerve so here uh, but we need only medial rectus here so i have described only medial rectus here so what does it do that medial rectus will cause the adduction of the eyes ciliaris muscle will cause the increased convexity of the lens and the constrictor pupillae will cause the pupils to constrict so when all of these happen we will able we will be able to accommodate and the, this is basically the accommodation reflex so now i am uh, highlighting this this is the visual pathway this is uh, below is the accommodation reflex and here i have tried to show the light reflex you know light reflex has afferent and efferent efferent is the optic nerve that uh, goes away and takes the signal and efferent is the third nerve so uh, it's different is the third nerve this is the ocular motor nerve so that we when we show light there is uh, uh, when we put light in an eye there is constriction of pupil so this is light reflex another important thing is that in case of syphilis there is problem in this pretectal area so in syphilis patient but the accommodation pathway is okay so patient can uh, not constrict there is no light ref uh, there is no pupillary light reflex but patient can accommodate so th this pupil is called ergel robertson pupil so um, this is a briefly about uh, this uh, accommodation reflex i have tried to make it very simple hopefully you will understand if you like please share with your friends and subscribe thank you